So what are three of my favorite foods? Bacon, mac and cheese, and pizza. So what if we made a bacon mac and cheese pizza? It really is delicious and it's really easy. Let's get started. Now, we've cooked off a pound of bacon in the oven and the best way to do that is on a sheet pan. But don't dare throw away that bacon fat. We're gonna use it to add even more bacon flavor. So we're gonna use the bacon fat to help build the roux to make the macaroni and cheese. We'll also use a little bit of this rendered bacon fat to brush the crust before it goes in the oven. This is gonna have lots and lots of great bacon flavor. And what we wanna do is get busy building the roux. And this is really, really simple because what we're going to do is utilize about a tablespoon and a half of bacon fat and some flour because when you're building a roux, you need some fat and some flour. And you cook it down until it almost looks and smells like pie crust and you wanna cook a little of the starch out and then we'll add in the milk and then fold in the cheese. We'll just eyeball this and put in about a tablespoon and a half of that bacon fat and then save the rest. To that, I'm going to add my flour and then we wanna just whisk. Stay with this while it's hot on the stove top. Because what you don't want to do is have this burn, but you can smell the bacon, you can see the flour starting to thicken with the fat. And as soon as we cook the starchiness out of this, we'll add in the milk, the mustard powder, the salt and pepper, and eventually the cheese. Now our pan is nice and hot, and this is really starting to smell great. I'm going to add in some mustard powder, some salt, some pepper, get it back on the heat, and put in our milk whole milk and again start stirring continuously. This is what's going to help thicken the milk. I've turned my heat down just a little bit and you want to eyeball that just to make sure that it doesn't get too hot. And then we're going to put in two of our four cups that the recipe calls for of shredded sharp cheddar cheese and start to stir this in until it gets nice and melted and gooey and ooey. This pan is screaming hot, so it's going to be really great to uh, fold in this cooked macaroni. And if you get nervous that the cheese sauce looks thick, it's supposed to be. Remember, we're spreading this on top of pizza, so we don't want it too liquidy. Now let's get in our cooked elbow macaroni. We can go ahead and turn that off and just fold our macaroni into the cheese sauce, and then I'll get busy chopping the bacon. So we're going to take six of the slices of bacon that we've already cooked off, and I'm just going to chop this up. Chop it nice and fine, and then just fold it into your mac and cheese. We'll set that aside, and then we'll take the rest of the bacon and create a stuffed crust bacon mac and cheese. This is gonna be yummy. Okay, let's get all of this chopped bacon into the mac and cheese. Extra flavor, extra crunch. I'll grab a spoon, get this stirred in, and then we'll get our pizza crust together. So now it's time to assemble the pizza. Now we've taken our fresh pizza dough and we spread it out on the pizza pan, but I've pushed it out over the edge about an inch or so because we're gonna create a stuffed crust mac and cheese bacon pizza. I know, it gets a little crazy. Now we've taken the rest of the bacon from that sheet pan and we've cut it in half lengthwise. Now I'm gonna take these thinner pieces and I'm gonna create a circle around the pizza, leaving about an inch of dough between the edge of the bacon and the edge of the pizza pan so that I can fold this over. This is no calorie left behind, bacon, mac, and cheese pizza. <laughs> and now we take the edges and we stuff it and roll. And then you're going to push this into the edge of the pan so that this will get nice and golden brown when we bake the pizza. Now take a little bit of your rendered bacon fat so that this doesn't get too crispy in the oven. And we'll just paint the top of that stuffed crust. Take one cup of the shredded cheese and spread that on the bottom of the pizza crust. So it's very cheesy, lots of bacon flavor, really, really delicious. Now, once we have the shredded cheese in place, you put the mac and cheese we made earlier right on top. Now, try to keep this warm so that it will spread a little more easily. And what we're gonna do is dollop this on top and then if you have to use your fingers to spread it, that's fine. You wanna try to leave that cheese as much in place as possible. And now, if it weren't cheesy enough, we're gonna add a little more. So we'll take the last cup of our shredded cheese. Now we've preheated our oven to 450 degrees. Your oven's gonna be screaming hot and you need it to be because this is a thick pizza. We're gonna bake it in there for about 20 minutes and then take it out and use this big paddle. This is called a pizza peel. We're gonna take this off of the pizza pan and use the paddle and put it back in the oven and finish baking it right on the rack so it's crispy and delicious. So our pizza's been in the oven for 20 minutes. We're gonna retrieve it from the oven, get it off the pizza pan, and then get it back onto the rack so it gets nice and crispy. We'll use this paddle called a pizza peel to transfer it from the pan back into the oven. Bring this right out. And now, hot, 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 hot. Take our pizza peel 
and we'll pop this back into the oven for 10 more minutes. It smells like a pizzeria in here, and it's time to retrieve the pizza from the oven, slice it up, and take a big bite. All right, let's head over to the oven. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Out of the oven, smells great. Bring it over to our cutting board, and we'll cut this bad boy up and take a nice big bite of mac and cheese bacon pizza. Ah, oh, stuffed crust, nice and ooey gooey and full of cheese and bacon and everything we love about bacon mac and cheese pizza. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm.